there's a, I think this is often the case with the stuff that you do. There's sort of a philosophical underpinning to it, but there's also a practical business yeah. uh, application here as well. It, it, this tool could be used uh, for a number of different applications, specifically inside the firearms industry or among firearms enthusiasts who are particularly tech savvy. And um, can you just lay out a couple examples that you yeah. perhaps are aiming for long term? Yeah, I'd like to. I, I, in my in mind, I remember Jim Tromley, of U.S. Patriot Armory. He got in trouble with New Jersey for selling magazines uh, on his e-commerce site. I don't know. This was like 2019 or something. And I remember in the press, he was reached by the press and he says, well, how the hell am I supposed to know what New Jersey's law is? And you know what? Like, I sympathize. And of course, as gun people on, on the Internet, we were like, well, it's still your duty, Jim Tromley. No. Well, OK, the, a tool like this helps, you know. And power is not just your checkout experience, but maybe your chat and customer service experience. I think of the Polymer 80 indictments when the agents were just all day long sending tickets in a Polymer 80, trying to get them to, tr to trip up and say them say something wrong about the law or where they would ship. You know, you know, if you're a gun company online, that that's always happening because every town and Giffords and these people team up with these task forces and are trying to make cases and bring you know lawsuits against you. It's, and in a sense, the law itself and all its contradictions and all its several applications in all these many states, especially where there's gun control, it's not really meant to be understood by the gun commercial company. It's just meant to be a cudgel or to discourage you. Now, you don't have to take my view of that, but if you have a tool like ours assisting you in your compliance and, like I said, your customer service experience, you stand a better chance of actually understanding what's a non-human understandable situation. You see, you have assistance. And now we're suddenly we're complying with laws that weren't meant to be complied with. We're fighting our enemy uh, with superior tools. OK. And so you, you can see an application of this where, uh, you know, companies or even individuals can instead of, I don't know, hiring a like a firearms lawyer to go through everything and and train your staff that way, you could use this tool if if it progresses to the point where it's accurate enough that that it's produces extremely reliable information in that way. That's sort of. I'll say something more than speculative. I mean, I trained it first on applications that I needed in our companies, right? So customer service, what are the laws? They're always changing the ghost gun laws in each state and municipality. You know, it, it had to be good on those things. I, I trained it first on gun laws. And then in, in a demo like Chroma database, I did um, U.S. concealed carry information and and we gave it like trivia questions, right? Well, I'm traveling from this state to this state. I got these, I got these items in tow. What's going to happen, right? Like, you know, you have all these puzzles to solve. Literally, USCCA gives you a phone number to call, you know, so that you can <laughs> plan your life, you know, across a few different states. Well, okay, this tool can do something like that, too. And I'm not saying it replaces compliance or legal counsel or any of that stuff. I'm saying it's supplementary. You can train your staff all you want, but some undercover is always going to try to trip you up and get you to sell the wrong thing and, and do the wrong. So I'm saying it's another line of defense just in this respect. It's not merely that. But it's engaging and it can assist with us living on the Internet and defending ourselves against uh, a predatory regime, which isn't actually trying to help us with its laws. Hmm. All right. So that's that's one long term vision of, of several. What about the short term here? This just launched. Uh, we're talking hours after it went live yeah. uh, here while we we're recording the show. Um, what's the near term? How, how are you going to build this out into a robust product? How are you, you know, how is it going to be funded and uh, kept afloat until, uh, you know, it's able to do all these things that you're talking about? Um, I mean, not that, it, you know, I, I only spend a very small amount of time with it of course. Uh, at this point. Um, but so I don't know the full capabilities. But, uh, you know, obviously there's a, we, when we talked earlier, there's a continuous process here. What what's the short term vision for this? I didn't want to launch it or, or bring people into it as beta testers until there was truly a data audit workflow and a, a way to use their help to improve the model. That all exists. And we have plenty of compute. We have a plan to get more compute if it scales. But, you know, we, I think realistically here, I, I know I've never taken investment. I know people don't, they're not rushing in to invest with me. So I have a plan for it to work on its own with the people who use it right now and as an accessory application with our already existing businesses of which there are a number now. So it will already exist on my sites. And I have made deals with certain partners in the gun industry to already begin to use it in a kind of experimental testing fashion. So as far as I'm concerned, this announcement is it's its debut in our space. It 
it exists. The team is small. I don't really need investment to keep it going. It's here with us now. If we can improve it, if it's really good, you'll just see that it it's in our space. Or it's so good, you'll never know that it's powering your experience like on Gunbroker or something. You know, who knows? But uh, as we see all this, every day we see AI announcements from different companies and stuff. Uh, it won't just be my company in the end. There'll be a lot of AI companies trying to cater to our space, I hope. I would just like to be one of the first.